this video, Barracuda is back. Alright guys, so the CJ is kind of at a point where it's like running good and we pull it in and out of the garage. So we figured we'd start working on this thing because it's kind of been neglected and it's a freaking awesome go-kart. Uh, a while ago we tried to do some drift sleeves and that was really, really bad. So uh, now what we're going to do is we have our old tires which are to the beat belt. So instead of uh, de-beating them because they're so bad, we're literally just cutting them off. Alright guys, this thing's looking all nice and clean. Uh, there's, unfortunately from sitting outside, it's acquired some rust spots, but I'm able to sand those down real quick and hit it with some spray paint. Our brake rotor is pretty rusty, but that'll just come off when we're driving it. Yeah, it cleaned up real nice. Smell, smells right great. in your face. Yeah, uh, we're kind of just reverting to this because it's got like, yeah, like look at how thick the metal is on there. There's no breaking that with a, just a regular knife. So, hope we get it off. Oh no, poor tire. Ah. But here we go, man. These these rims are so cool. Painting at gold was like the best idea we ever had. Oh yeah. Alright, so we got some uh, brand new tires from uh, Go Power Sports. Thank you, Go Power Sports. Ah, wrong channel. But hey, Go Power Sports, if you're watching this, it'd be sick. Alright, so what we're doing now is we're soaping up the bead here because it's never going to get on this without being soaked up, or at least without a lot of issues, but it's going to give us issues anyways, but uh, hopefully we can get it on. There we go. Sweet. So yeah, that's all there is to it. Oh yeah. So we'll get our brand new tire on there. It'll be good. Alright, so this is the tricky part. Uh, you just inflate it until it gets super overinflated and it'll pop the bead. You put soap. Put soap on that other side. So one of the major design flaws in our frame was that um, we don't have a, our like casters messed up, so it understeers really, really bad. So what we need to do is we need to cut this off and then bend it a little bit like this and re-weld it. Because basically what that w does is when it turns, this wheel will go more like this, and that'll cause the rear tire to lift up and kind of break some traction in the back so it can rotate. Alright, so part of the look of this go-kart is the white letter tires. So I'm just using some Sharpie paint marker and making them look pretty.
Alright guys, we got those disconnected. And our tires are looking real nice. Alright guys, so that's cut through enough to bend it, and I got the hub on so we can put the rim on. Alright guys, that hub's on, Jason's getting this one on, and I've got these welded up. Not very good welds just because I'm kind of burning through the paint. But I'm not really concerned about weld quality on this because everything was done with a really cheap Harbor Freight welder. So, But yeah, so as you can see, now we got that angle. So hopefully we have uh, no issues turning. Alright, so we got a can of white spray paint. So now what I'm going to do so I'm going to go around, look for areas where there's rust or paint's messed up, and I'm just going to hit it with a scuff pad real quick. Alright guys, it's looking really good now that I, you know, kind of cleaned up some spots with some spray paint. So I'll have to wait for this to dry, then we'll bolt this spindle up, and then I'll paint the other side. Alright, air filter and frame clearance are on point. So now I'll put the other side on. What you know about camber, bro? Alright guys, we're a camber gang here. So we're gonna have to, uh, we'll just lift it up and hammer it down, but it's looking good again. Alright, so we have the back jacked up because the, uh, we need to clean off this and what we're gonna do is we're just gonna run it and have it spin and we'll just put a piece of sandpaper to it. I forgot to put that spring on to hold the governor arm back. <laughs> uh, I think it's on this one. Yep, here she is. Alright, we'll put that on. Alright, round three. Oh, it's so much nicer. Her is like a kid. That's so nice. our camber we got to take this bolt out and hammer it down all right there's a little there's slightly less camber but it kind of matches this side so we're just gonna say screw it and just tighten this up and let it rip. Alright guys, looks pretty good. Next time we'll see you is at the track. Alright, so here we are 
in the parking lot that's pretty much abandoned. So it's time to roof it. our understeer issue guys oh yeah how's it feel man feels, I think it's better yeah do the understeer is bad the throttle's really bad oh we didn't bring a screwdriver Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to fix the throttle here. Oh, I bet you this is the issue. That flex right there. Floor. Yeah, so we're not getting full floored, and full floored isn't floored either. Alright, well, so what we're going to do is I'm going to take it for a quick little test drive, and we're going to address some of the issues, like our excessive camber, which will lead to, like, not good tire wear. So, yeah. But overall, pretty good so far. Alright, so we're back without any cringy transitions, and uh, now we're just fixing up the throttle. Because it was a little loose, so now hopefully when you push down the pedal, it'll actually go. Alright, so we think it, we fixed it, so we're going to test. Yep, let off. Perfect. So, now we have full throttle. It was probably getting like three-fourths before. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fix the camber just by taking off the spindles and hammering it again. So hopefully we'll fix that, and next time we'll be back at the parking lot. Ah, no reverse! The shame. And yet again, Jason barely crashes into a curb. Oh, well, I don't know what else to say besides this thing absolutely rips. Dude, it's so much better. I know, yeah. Alright, so unfortunately we ran out of gas, but I mean, we dialed in the camber, it drives so nice. I think we got enough driving footage. We kind of want to do a race or something, but we can always make another video on this. It's uh, some pretty crazy camber, but there's nothing wrong with that. It looks pretty sick, so. 
All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yeah, um, there's, this thing definitely still needs some work. More videos of it, along with some other go-kart videos and the CJ build at the beginning of the video. Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.